Okay, we're gonna go through the shark baits we use during the day. Normally we start off with a wide and this is what you caught. It's actually a big spot, really. So that is what's going on. The four foot cable with the Super Moo 2. Then I'll save this piece. I probably won't end up using it, but you never know. It might be an emergency here. So. It's my new 13OL204 that I made. It's a little big. I think a 12 would be about right. So she's got some medium sized whiting, so I'm going to put a little bit bigger piece on there. And this is for the Ocean Master. I think these hooks are a little big, but that looks pretty good. So that's going out right now. Okay, she caught a big whiting earlier. I don't know, he's probably 12, 13 inches. We just had, uh, I wouldn't call it a pull down, it's a bump on the other rod. The 13 0 L204 is not made to catch the black nose shark. So, what I'm going to try to do, I'll save the head to hook through the nose later. I want to put a squat, small, chunk on there with the yellow jackets. The, the yellow these, jacket? Yeah. With the thing with the 13 though, I got a huge gap so I can really hook down in the bait. Let's see what it is. She has a tendency not to say anything. Oh, drum. 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 It's a big drum. Yeah, that's a good drum for us. That's it. How do they get? Oh, they get 50 pounds, 60 pounds, 80, I think. Oh, well. I don't know what's on the floor. Okay, well, you didn't say anything. Take him off there. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. He's probably about. Four pounds, four and a half maybe. Who knows? I always underestimate your fish. Hell, he might be five yeah. pounds. Who knows? Okay. Yep. Good fish. We're definitely not cutting that up for bait. No. Uh, I think that's your biggest black drum. Is it? I think, I think so. so. I think so. Usually we catch them and they're about you know 12, 14, 15 inches yeah. long. He's probably 20 inches or something. Okay. All Good right. fish. With fish. With the fish bites? With the fish bites. Another victim of the fish bites. Yeah. Alright, good job. Okay, this is our fourth bait. The spot head, I thought, because of, they pulled the whiting head off with that 13 0 hook embedded in there. The black nose ripped it out. So I figured this was gone. I would have left it out there. I'm not going to be able to throw that far anymore. But it's loose in the hook, so I'm taking it out. So I'm going to cut the whiting. So this is the fourth bait of the day. I hook my baits, really, so they don't get taken off. Not as much as, because that's fine. The hook is exposed fine. But just a bump and they'll rip these things off sometimes without even moving the sinker in the rod tip. They're so good at it. Okay. So here's bait number five. This is bait number four. That could be bluefish. But it might have been a black nose that ripped that part off. That looks like bluefish though. And if they're out there with these Mutu hooks, it's going to be a long day. So what I'm going to do... is I'm gonna cut the whiting head not quite as far back. That one was cut kind of far back. Not the fin, nothing for them to pull off. 
usually this time of the year the bluefish are not out there. And once the head gets to a certain point where they strip the meat off the back, they don't mess with it. So that one doesn't have much meat. It's a very squat bait and a good percentage for the black nose. And that's bait number five. Right. Okay, here's what we got on the fifth bait. That was a big bluefish or a little black nose. I think it's bluefish because they've been shredding at it. That's a bluefish. They'll just shred these meats up. But a bluefish did not rip the first bait that I showed you with the 13-0 hook. So what I'm doing, we're not fishing for bluefish, we're fishing for sharks. So what I'm gonna do, Put the big whiting head through the nose. I'm gonna leave the meat on the end because the blue fish will trim that off for me. And sometimes it draws the sharks in and you'll be looking at your rod getting bit by the blue fish and then you look over and that thing's bent over. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's bait number six. Okay, this is bait number seven. You've seen the smaller whiting head that I hooked through the top deeply that got ripped off a bluefish did not rip that off so the bluefish are definitely out there but sort of black nose so his head's a little too small to cut all the way back so what I'm gonna do is just like the other bait I'm gonna leave a little bit of meat for the bluefish to shred up And I'm going to hook it deeply through the nose. So they'll chew the back of that meat off. And hopefully the black nose gets sick of messing with it and try to grab the whole thing. So that's bait number seven. Wow, that thing really bent the rod. Wow, it's a whitey. Yeah. Thought you might have had another drum or something. Yeah, I feel like it. Wow. She likes that star rod. It's really soft and puts a bend in it. Toss it up there. I'm going to bury it. Okay. You got the tide coming up. Next bait is number eight for the shark rods. Okay, this will be bait number eight. That is bluefish shredding the meat off the back of that head. So, this one is a little bit small, but I'm going to do the same thing with it. It's a little bit bigger than the other one. Cut it back. Looking through the nose and let the bluefish shred him up and hopefully a shark will see the action and come. Kind of hard for them to pull that off. Okay, that's bait number eight. Okay, bait number nine. I just brought this whiting head and I'm going to put a fresh one on since I did it. That wasn't touched by anything, so the blue fish have at least moved on as the tide came up, which is good. I would leave that on, but since I brought it up and this whiting head is even a little bit bigger, I am still going to hook it through the top of the head. Alright, I am going to cut the little things off to make it pass better. Hook him through the top of the head again, well actually through the mouth. Okay. Now that's hooked pretty deep. That's hooked pretty deep. 
so that's going to be hard for the black nose to rip off, but they tend not to be out there right now, I guess, so let's see. Okay, that is the big whiting head that I put on that 13L204, and I am not taking that off. Nothing has chewed it up or nothing. It's hooked on there good, and it, it, I would classify that as a pretty big bait. So I'm going to leave it on there and throw it back out. Okay, this is bait number 10. The last time you see me put the whiting head on the big game rod with this big hook, I thought I might even hooked it too deep in the head. It was so far back. And a black nose shark ripped it off and didn't even move the sinker in the rod. Because the bluefish aren't out there anymore. So. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do the same thing. Hook through the nose. Right in the center. Those are extremely hard to rip it off. What the black nose does, they come in and they bite the bait and it crushes it and then they can pull it off. Sometimes they'll swipe in and take a chunk out of the bottom of it. Okay, the Ocean Master's going up. The big widening head was on there, I would say, for about two hours. And nothing messed with it. Not the bluefish or nothing. Okay, we're putting the last shark rod up. That whiting head, the last one I put on, was still on there. Looks really good. There's just nothing out there. And that's uh, beach fishing for the sharks. It's tough. Thank you for watching. See you next time.